Hello everyone, welcome back to Jodella Fashion Guide. In our last video, I taught us how to draft a basic bodice pattern. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to add that to our basic bodice pattern. How to add the waist dart, the, the princess dart, and the bust dart. Let's get right into it. So we already have our basic bodice pattern drafted out. This is our chest line, our bust line, our waist line, our hip line, the dress length, and then the same allowance. Today we are going to be concentrating on how to add that to the front bodies of a, a basic body uh, pattern of a dress. So I'm going to be showing you how to add the regular that, the princess that, and then the bust that. So we'll start with the regular that. For the regular that, we just first of all mark out the nipple to nipple point, which for this customer is seven inches. Seven inches divided by two because our fabric is on fold. We have three point five. So add a bust point and you mark three point five. You mark three, mark out three point five. Add the waistline. You mark out three point five. Add the hip. 3.5 the dress length 3.5 at the hem 3.5 and then you use a ruler to connect all that together we do it all the way down because after you are through with your pattern and you are transferring to fabric you are going to be cutting along that line so at the waistline, you are going to be removing a dart of one inches, half inch on both sides. Place your tip, mark at half inch on both sides. Now we are going to be on the bust on the bust line, we are going to be coming down by one inch. That's where the dart will start from. And then on the hip line. We are going to go up by two inches. So I'm going to connect that in a triangle form. So this is our waist that. So when it's time to cut, it is this part. We are going to be cutting out. So that is all for the for the regular that. The process that is simple. Now let's get go to the the ample curve. The process that is going to start from the ample curve and end at this point, not on the bust line directly, because we want that place to be free at this point here. So, at the ample curve, this is the ample. The ample depth that we worked with was 6.8, which we marked it at 6.75. And then you go to the midpoint of that. For some persons, when you want to make the, the curve out the process that from the shoulder line, they come down by four inches. By four inches, they mark four inches. So it depends on what you want. You can make, you can have your process that from the midpoint of the ample or you come down by half inch from the midpoint of the ample so i'm going to be using the for this custom i'm going to be using the midpoint of the ample depth so with the with the help of the fresh curve i just place it on that point like so i'm positioning it in a way that it will connect to this place and then I just draw it out. That is a process that easy, right? So this is a process that for a dress, a dress pattern. We are not going to be removing anything here. 
when we are cutting you just cut from this down part you follow here you come here again cut it out and then you just go straight to this place and that is all And that is all for the princess cut. Now, in order not, for us not to have any shortages when we are joining back, because by the time we cut it out, this part is going to be separated from this part. So in order not to have any shortage, you can extend this line. You can extend it by half inch or one inch. Let's see one inch. You can extend it so that you don't have any shortages when you are joining it back. So you can extend that before you cut. And then you now use this. If you are extending it, you use this angle curve. You use this this one to cut it so that you do not have any shortage so that is all for the process so let's quickly look at how to cut the bus that it's very easy right so for the bus that at this bus point here this place we are going to come out by one inch and just mark Okay, that is at the bust line, one inch. Okay, at the bust line, one inch. And then here, we are going to come down by one inch. And then just connect with a ruler. That's cool. This part, when it's time to sew, you are not going to cut it out. You are just simply going to pinch it and sew it. Like in this dress. This is the bust that. So you will not cut it out. You just pinch it there and sew. Pinch it and sew. That is just cool. So remember we are cutting, we are not going to cut this part, there is a cuff here, so let me just erase that. Let me draw, redraw the cuff properly so that it will be neat. Because when you are adding your allowances, remember that I've removed the you removed one inch from the waist. So when you are adding your allowances, you have to add it back, so you don't have any shortages. The one inch you add it here before you add the normal sewing allowance. You're going to take let's say two inches sewing allowance. Yeah, you are taking two inches sewing allowance at the hip line. We are taking two inches, two inches, two inches. So in order to also have shortage at the, for the length of the dress, remember that you are removing one inch that here. So you will add 
one inch to the hem of the dress you add one inch extra I already have a sewing allowance here of two inches so that I'm going to add extra one inch again so that by the time we now pinch this that we don't have any shortage when we are matching the front bodies and the back bodies together so that is all for this for this class if you find this video helpful it's beginners friendly if you find it helpful give me a thumbs up like share and please subscribe to my channel see you in my next class bye